Hi, today we're going to be working on this uh, Toshiba satellite. Um, it's a model number A300. Um, the problem the customer is having is uh, the computer starts up normally, um, but when watching video or playing a game, sort of like five minutes later, the machine just all of a sudden switches off. So, we're going to take it apart and uh, make sure that the cooling system is not blocked, the fans are working because uh, if the machine is overheating you will get uh, thermal shutdown ok so let's take it apart So this model here has got a, I noticed it's got a couple of different size screws, um, but uh, each hole has got uh, a code number, F6 and a half, F8, okay so those, uh, those numbers will correspond to the length of the screw, so you can get the screws back in the right place. Okay, so once you have removed all the visible screws, it's also worth to take note that the this is the um, the vent. This is your input of your air. Your fan will suck through here. So, like these uh, holes here, they're only about a millimeter wide. They're blocked. So you also need to clean up this um, this air vent here, so that there's no restriction on the airflow. Okay, so there's a couple of ribbon cables going to your touchpad and to your on-off control panel here. So just unplug those. Okay, so now that all the screws are out from the top and the bottom, we should be able to separate the top cover from the bottom cover. Using a plastic uh, guitar pick or something similar. Gently go around the edges, just go slowly just in case you've forgotten the screw, it's quite easy to do.
the fans and the heat sinks on the other side of the, the board so we're going to remove the, the motherboard here and start by unplugging whatever cable so you can see Let's plug into the board So, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, a lot of dust on that vent, that's your input vent. So don't forget to clean that out as well before, before you reassemble the laptop. Okay. So we're going to remove the cooling system here from the CPU and the GPU and uh, replace the thermal compound because if the, if the computer has overheated that thermal compound will not be doing its job anymore. Okay, as you can see, the thermal, it's like sort of caked up. And it's just really not doing a jo its job anymore. Okay, so let's. Open up this, this fan. Okay, and there you go. This vent here is completely blocked up with dust and hair and what have you. So even though the fan is operating normally, the air is not venting, so therefore it's not cooling it down. Okay, so we're going to clean this up, replace the thermal compound, reassemble the laptop and uh, give it a test but uh, that should be this laptop back on the road okay let's clean this out okay so uh, I finished cleaning up that uh, that fan and I've cleaned out the, the vent on the case of the laptop so I'll just replace the thermal compound here and then we can reassemble Okay, there's some numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the, the order in which they want you to tighten up the screw so that you end up with an even uh, mount on the chip. Don't forget to plug in your fan because that's underneath the motherboard. And that would be disastrous. Okay.
Okay, so the computer is back on. It's been running a couple of minutes now. Uh, we're running um, some software to monitor the temperatures. Uh, the CPU is under 50 degrees, around 48. Today's a very hot day, so uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, we'll play a video for a couple of hours, monitor the temperature. So I reckon uh, that cleanup is definitely the fix. Thanks for watching. Remember, there is always a fix.